channel I've just jumped on today to do you a quick haul video with my latest order from Hey Little Magpie I've been really quite good this year um, mainly down to the fact that when all the new releases came out at CHA at the beginning of the year to be perfectly honest there wasn't really a great deal that I liked and with the exception of a few of the Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams papers and a couple of the Dear Lizzie um, oh what was it called Lovely Day was it yeah Lovely Day collection um, I didn't really feel as if I wanted that much of it to be honest so the only exception for this year was the Coco Vanilla Studios Wild at Heart collection which as soon as I saw it loved pretty much all of it so soon as it came into Hey Little Magpie uh, today is Friday so Wednesday when we got the email to say that it had arrived in the UK I was straight on there and placing my order so I'm going to go through this package that's arrived today and share the collection with you and hope you enjoy okay first things first I'd just like to say thank you to the girls at Hey Little Magpie for my fruit tea that came with my invoice thank you very much I'll put that to one side I'm going to start off with the papers and then we'll move those to one side and go through the embellishments. Okay, I'll line them up along the top and I did actually get two of each sheet and the vellum, so I'll line them up and show both sides. So the first one is this one, which is Memento. Beautiful watercolory floral design on a navy blue background. <clears throat> and the back of that is a white background with navy blue text on it. So. Hopefully you'll be able to see all of them if I do them there. Next one is Bohemian, which is the lovely zigzags with little lines like that in all of the colours from the collection. And the B side of that is white with navy blue irregular circles, almost like paint splodges. Next one is called Grow Wild and it's another tiny floral on a navy blue background and the back of that one is a marble effect one now I'm not normally keen on these marble effect papers but I do quite like this one I think it's because of the colours um, I like the fact that it's a lot of pink and white so it's not too in your face really so I may actually end up using that as something instead of just matting and layering for a photograph this one is called Double Dot and it's got some really really pretty little coloured splodges on it and the back of that is also a dotty one but it's this lovely aqua colour with white splodges almost looks like snow that one does next one is called Luscious and it's that gorgeous floral but on a white background this time I'm not too sure whether these are going to be able to be fussy cut. I'm sure they probably could be, but it's going to be difficult. Probably have to sort of like cut out some of the other flowers in the background. But I'll probably give it a go anyway. And the back of that one is this ombre sort of pink to peach colour. Next one is called Artisan. And it's going to make a gorgeous background, that one is. It's got lovely little watercolour effects around the edge it's not quite white but it's sort of off white but it's really nice anyway and the back of that one is a very pale grey wood green <clears throat> excuse me next one oh this one is my absolute favourite I love this and I will definitely be fussy cutting this one this one is called Mariposa Oh, look at those butterflies. Oh, they're just gorgeous. I wish I'd have bought more than two sheets of this one now, actually, because I know that I'm going to fussy cut at least one whole sheet of those. I, I know that some of them are actually sold out on the Hey Little Magpie website now, but um, not too sure where else. I know the Lottie Loves Paper website may be getting a few of the little extras in. It's part of their March slash April embellishment kit and paper add-on kit so she may be putting some of the extras in the shop if there are any left I can't see there being many left but but yeah so maybe check out that if hey little magpie haven't got what you want but yeah that one's called Mariposa and the back of that one is this gorgeous watercolor one which goes from a lovely sky blue all the way down to like 
a teal, well, not teal, aqua turquoise colour. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, this one is called Patchwork, and there are two cut-apart sheets that come with this collection. First one is this, which is mainly sort of cut-apart backgrounds, except the butterflies. They're really cute little butterflies, actually. And some more. They're slightly bigger than, I think, yeah, slightly bigger than that come on the full butterfly sheet. But, but yeah, so that's that one. And the background of that one, Patchwork, did I say that was called? Is this pink with a darker pink what pattern's that? It's not really chevron and it's not really a zigzag, but but yeah, so that pattern anyway. Oh, I'm good with the technical words, I am. And the final sheet for this collection is another cut apart one. This one's mainly got the journaling cards and title cards. This is really nice. I really like this one. Especially that, that little library card just there. And the back of that is the peach oh this one's called fussy cuts by the way peach and white watercolory stripes so they're all of the papers and the final not real paper but specialty paper that goes with it is the printed vellum hopefully you'll be able to see what that looks like if i get some white card and stick it behind it might help <clears throat> but yeah so navy blue flowers and leaves really really pretty that one is so i'll put that one there and move on to the embellishments okay so i've moved all of the papers slightly up so that we've got a bit of clear space to go through all the embellishments um i didn't buy all of the embellishments i didn't get the wood veneer or the little flowers or the sparkly enamel dots purely because I've got a huge selection of enamel dots already and a pretty substantial wood veneer collection that I very rarely use so didn't bother with those but I did get everything else so first things first is the sticker sheet absolutely gorgeous love the fact that they have all the little tiny word stickers on the sticker sheets now as well they're great so that one's that one the chipboard sheet um, I like the fact that it's only a 6x12 one as well because they do cram absolutely loads onto the 6x12 but you're not overwhelmed with loads of random things like you do with some collections. I do know that I will use everything that's on there and I don't look at it and go, hmm, what will I do with this random giraffe or pineapple or other random things like that. <clears throat> okay, next one are the rubber shapes. These are new for Coco Vanilla Studios. They haven't included these with any of their previous collections. Um, really, really cute. I love the colours of those as well. Uh, that's what you get in that package. Next are the flare. Really like those as well. I love that butterfly one. That is my absolute favourite. Chipboard frames, also something new for this collection. You get 18 frames in three different sizes, so six of each size. I'm not really very good at using frames, but I bought them because I do like them, so I'm going to challenge myself to actually do something with them. Next is the ephemera pack. 60 pieces in there. Plenty of florals, butterflies, a couple of other frames, loads of little tags really really like that as well and that's it for the wild at heart collection uh the other thing that i bought this time were two packs of the bella boulevard oh bella boulevard puffy heart stickers i got them in milk white and the punch mix which is the darker pink i was really surprised at how big these were i wasn't expecting them to actually be this big the smallest ones on the sheet are about half an inch across the widest part and these three big ones right at the bottom are just under an inch so I'm going to put those with the collection and try and get some of those. I'm actually going to a crop this weekend, uh, tomorrow, 10 till 6. So I've got a good 8 hours of scrapping tomorrow. And I'm going to take the whole of this collection, see what I can do with it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to set myself a target of doing three layouts. Which, for those of you that go to the crop and know me, you'll know three will be a lot. Because I normally spend most of the time talking maybe get one done if i'm lucky so yeah three is my target we'll see how i go um but yeah thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you want to come back and see more um i'll aim to come back with a killer collection 
video and show you what I actually do with all this. So thanks for watching guys. Bye. Thank you.